Uh, we're going to walk right into another success uh, interview uh, with our good friends, Pro 8's Bob and April Wagner. I see you guys there. Tell the people hello. Hey, everybody. There we go. So before we jump into it, guys, I have to make sure we give a special shout out to April. Uh, what, was about two days ago. It was her birthday. So in the comments, guys, let's uh, let her know. We appreciate her. We love her. Happy birthday, April. Uh, we're super excited to have you on there. I know you didn't have any thoughts of me doing that today, but no. I did. <laughs> Thank you. But uh, <laughs> we appreciate you guys so much. So uh, Pro 8s, Bob and April Wagner, uh, give us a little bit about you guys. I know you've been in the industry a little bit. Um, you've been just with Life Vantage, what, two and a half years? So why Life Vantage? But really more importantly, let us know about you guys. Thanks, Steve. And, and thanks to everybody out there listening in. Um, you know, we have been in the industry a while, but, you know, sometimes when we think about it, we, we feel like we're new in the industry. We, we were with one company, a, a small mom and pop wellness company for 25 years, but we we're kind of in a bubble. You know, we, we never went outside of that company. We never looked outside at the industry or anything like that, but we really focused. And, you know, the team over um, that we worked with at that company, we ended up doing over $200 million in, in business there. But, um, you know, we got a surprise call, like kind of like what happened now. And, you know, April's going to talk about challenges in a second. But, you know, we got a call one morning without any notice that the company had closed. And, you know, it's like, like the president getting on now and just saying, everybody, you're under house arrest, you know, <laughs> don't leave your home. You know, it's like it, it came out of the blue. And, um, you know, all of a sudden, unexpectedly, we were free agents. And, and I mean unexpectedly, you know, we were free agents. And, you know, a lot of phone calls started coming in. And even though we had never reached out in the industry, the industry had reached out, was reaching out to us. And to our good fortune and, and you know, all, all credit to God, um, Dave Fleming knew who we were, you know, from he had done some consulting work before he took the position with Life Vantage. And, and this is important, folks, because I think the most important thing that happened with Dave, he asked permission if he could reach out to us and, and talk to us. And, you know, when you ask people permission, man, you're being so respectful, you know, of, of what's going on out there in their lives that, you know, they, they almost guarantee they're going to listen to you. But we listened to Dave and, you know, we looked at everything Life Vantage had to offer. And Steve, it, it was a no-brainer. It was it was clearly going to be our next 20, 20 year home, and and here we are, you know. And I know you got something for April there. So yeah, that definitely. It, it says a lot to when uh, you a picture of consistency and been somewhere for so long, and then unexpectedly things happen. So what twenty twenty five years? I would imagine in twenty plus years, you've been through some things. Just off the top of my head. I'm realizing there's been other uh, financial type crisis. There's been 9-11, things like that, as we talked about before. How did you guys manage through the ebbs and flows of your business uh, to really stay consistent? Yeah, we've had a lot. I know I, I hear a lot of other distributors here talk about 2008, 2009, the financial crisis. Um, we had a major ingredient from one of our products pulled. Um, it would be like if pretend it was bold, you know, so, so there's a lot of things that you're going to think today are, are, are horrible and you may find today challenging. Um, and we've dealt with a lot of them, 9-11 being um, in New York to us, which is where we're from. Um, but the biggest thing, there's two things, two things that are going to be really, really important. And, and I'll tell you how we deal with it. Um, but communication, you really, you need to just all out talk to not only new people, but your existing distributors because you're gonna to need to be their, their hope. You need to be their positive. You need to keep them energized. And luckily for Zoom, we can do a much easier job of that than we can ever have done, you know, even just through the phone or don't text. You need to pick up the phone. You need to be on Zoom. You need to be, um, you know, just talking to your people, giving them hope, keeping them positive, keeping them even, because the worst thing you can do is let that person get isolated. 
let them get out on their own and you know then they get in a funk and they're not productive um, but if you stay in touch with them and, and you know some of the things that we've been doing is and, and you all may be doing this too you know um, we've certainly done our traditional things of doing some zoom calls and stuff but we moved to a daily chat so we, we opened up with, it's not a webinar it's a meeting um, and, and they're good it fills up the screen with people and not everybody gets a chance to talk, but we get to see everybody's face. And if somebody really needs to get a question answered right away or, or they just wanna talk, we're there for them right away. So communication has been, you know, 10 X as I guess Darren Hardy says or whatever, but we've been making sure we've been doing a, a lot more of that. Um, you know, certainly directing everyone on all these company events, making sure that they stay, um, in touch with the company because lots of stuff, great stuff is coming out with this company. I mean, it's it's a full-time job keeping up with all this great stuff. So we're super excited about that. Uh, and then we actually did, um, Friday, we did a happy hour. And so whether you had water with <laughs> On lemon, Zoom, a Zoom or, happy hour, yeah, virtual. Yeah, Zoom, yeah, virtual happy hour. So, <laughs> so whether you had water with lemon or you had an Axio or you chose to have an adult beverage, it was all cool. It was good. Uh, but we actually didn't do business. We just socialized. Again, allowing people not to feel isolated and, and to see, you know, we're okay. We're great. This is fine. You know, the one big takeaway we, we learned from our company closing was, um, we know how to do this. We know how to build it. So whether we build it face to face, we build it online, it's people and we're just helping people get what they want. And so, um, again, just, you know, stay in contact with everyone, your new people, the people you're trying to get in the business, but most importantly, your distributors and, and keep it upbeat because this too will pass and we all have a phenomenal business. That's awesome. I, I like the the simplicity of just upping your communication and really reinforcing the community in which you have. Uh, I'm I'm just sad I didn't get the invite for the, the happy hour <laughs> next Friday. <laughs> uh, but definitely, I I say my last question. So, uh, as you've been kind of in in this for for 25 plus years, 27 years, uh, I would imagine you've seen things, uh, you've seen trends, you've seen new normals. Uh, sure. Share what, some things with us uh, about what you're expecting uh, versus kind of being more crisis minded uh, with kind of what could be really easy right now. What are some things that you can share with us of how you're navigating? You know, Steve, there, there is a new normal coming and whether we realize it or not, we're all writing a, a very important chapter in our book right now called the, Ch the Book of Life. And, and that chapter is going to be written whether we, we know it or not. And, and what I mean by that is, you know, the, the coronavirus crisis, you know, will be talked about like 9-11 and like a lot of other things are talked about. And the question is going to be, what did you do during it? You know, and, and how is that chapter going to read? You know, are you going to have been the brick and the foundation and the hope and the light and the person that really reached out and helped people, or are you gonna be the person, you know, that got the would've, should've, could've person? But what we've experienced, Steve, is our industry has always come out stronger after crisis, and it prunes itself, okay? What happens is the weak disappear. The stronger get better. Okay, and it gets more and more professional every time. So the the industry will grow, it will be stronger, it will be better because of this, even though this is ugly. Okay, this is, you know, and, and God bless all those frontline folks and, and medical professionals and everything that's going on out there, but this will pass. And our industry and our business, and you look at life vantage. I mean, look, you know, we we gotta watch what we say with products and things like that, but how in the world could you be in a better business than, than having products like ours to share and the flexibility to work it the way you want to work it, okay? Right now, the big talk is work from home, but the fact of the matter is work from anywhere you choose, whether it be your home or the ball field or on whatever, you know? It, it's So for the folks out there listening, this is going to get better. Hey, Steve, our, our team increased enrollments by 40 last month. Okay, we went up. Our volume was up 
okay? So we, you know, we know what to expect and, and, and we're trying to lead by example. We're doing the best we can, you know, we're leading by example. But when that next chapter is written, it's either gonna be that you thrived during the coronavirus period or it got the better of you. And I'm just gonna, you know, ask everybody to, to have it be the chapter that changed your life because you changed so many other lives. That's huge. It's, it's really, you're being the example more than anything. And I can say for, from experience working with you guys in the last two plus years, you definitely lead by example. There's nothing that you're, you're saying that you're not modeling out. So we definitely appreciate you guys.